Feeding. If y'all could um, maybe evacuate the direct behind. <laughs> and you just chewing, looking at me. <laughs> at any point, if you want to just. Yep, go ahead. Yep. Take your time. Look, look at the sachet. Yeah. Keep his, keep his sachet in all them <laughs> Jonathan, how are you today? I'm doing well. You doing well? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. It's good to find. It's good to see you after two. I know. Like when was that again? Yeah, like when we shoot so long ago. Um, how do, how are you feeling right now? Like you know, how how did you feel about the production week? And are you excited about you know seeing the pilot? Like how are you feeling right now? I'm geeked about seeing the uh, pilot. Yeah. Um, I think it's a quality uh, work, and you know I'm looking forward to expanding on it. And, so, um, I'm just ready to see it, honestly. Just see what, you know what I'm saying? Where we take it from there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, how did you hear about, you play Leslie. Leslie. Yes. In Jonathan the show. plays Leslie. Yes. Leslie, I know. Jonathan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you feel about the character? How, how, first, how did you hear about the audition? So, how I heard about the audition was um, uh, a good friend of mine, Corey G, actually looked me in uh, connections with Zeri. That's, he posted it, and I sent him something, he sent it to me. Either way, I got in front of him. Then uh, I sent him the tape. I, um, I know this is one of the questions for the while, but I'm answering it. Go ahead. Um, I originally auditioned for Damon and Joel. Then I came back and auditioned for Leslie. Byron. One of them. <laughs> no, I'm Leslie. It was either Sydney or Sydney. It's Sydney, yes. Then the last time was Leslie. Yes. Um, and Leslie felt, Leslie just felt right as you know, as you guys were explaining his character more and um, in the bio and just kind of going, you know, his backstory, like, you know, although it may be a departure from mine, um, there are a few similarities within, within me and him. Um, <laughs> you whisper all of my ears. <laughs> Get good help nowadays. <laughs> uh, where about that? But yes, um, the character of Leslie is one that I'm excited to explain. Um, I think people's first impression of him might it might not be sure where to go with him yet, which that gives me room to grow and the character to grow up even more. So I'm completely fine with that. Yeah. Um, Plus, I don't, I don't mind being the character he like to love. Or love or take. Yeah, yeah, you don't mind being like the anti, like almost. I wouldn't say anti-hero, almost, almost antagonist, but not really. Right. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah. For a reason. Yeah. But I'm not the main reason. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So you connect with Leslie. You yeah. have like, so do you, would you say you have anything in common with him in terms of like personality, or is it just like maybe? You know his mental, the way he structures things. Maybe I think I think one thing that we might have in common is the bluntness that Leslie has. Is a is a <clears throat> almost on a kind of a no nonsense um, with him in terms of like this is what the situation is and you know this is how I'm doing. I mean, especially me just thinking about the situation with um, my son in Sydney and bringing him to this whole uh, environment and him being like, and I'm just like, I gotta deal with it. Um, and, I'll, and, that's, and even if I even as I talk about more, there's kind of a selfishness with that too, which makes sense because you know, pretty much less is kind of been on its own for the most part. So there's a, there's, a, there's an amount of selfishness that comes with it. It's, it's different. So I can relate to that mm -hmm. as well, just from a different um, perspective. Um, and also, I'm a straight shooter myself um, when I don't mean to be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But I think, but that's just that's just how I talk to, and I think that's that's how Lizzie is. So it's just yeah. kind of, you know, what I'm saying there's a things. Sometimes he can just speak without speaking, but also too, like things are playing. There's there's a, there's a little manipulation. In some yeah. Cases that, there's there's some calculation yeah. going on. Yeah. So it's just fine. It's not on that balance, but you know, 
Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so I'm that's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a great guy. I just awesome. so particular. Great. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. Have peace. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about yours and or Leslie's relationship with Sydney and then his relationship like in regards to Sydney's friends? How do you feel about about like where that's at? Um, not to start with, um, I just did. I would say, I don't think there's, well, at least not right now, I think there will be a connection between, you know, there's going to be interaction between us. I mean, already on bed, they don't really fuck with me. Right. Um, which, I don't care. Right. Honestly, As you said before, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also know the roles that they play in the city. So, um, I mean, obviously, you know, just in the pilot, you know, I'm mean, kind of using that to a lot of energy anyway. So, right, exactly, <laughs> yes, know, yeah. Um, yeah, they're just there. Yeah, they're, they're just there. <laughs> I'm speaking as Leslie now. Leslie yeah, just came, Leslie Leslie just came, came out. He's there. <laughs> Leslie came out, he was like, and oh, what of it? <laughs> yeah, he came out of nowhere. Hey. <laughs> That's crazy how it's just like, you know, so you really connected with the character. Yeah, it's That's literally, I was like, this is not, this is not John the same. No, this is Leslie this talking. Is Leslie. That was yeah. cool. All right, what do you see in, what do you hope to see in Leslie's future? Or what do you see in Leslie's future just based off of what's happened so far? I mean, I think there's going to be some, some, a love score between him and Cynthia. I see them, for some reason I see them getting past it, but like, it's just not gonna be the same. But I think once you find out more about Leslie as a character, I think the audience will know why. Um, but that, you know, that goes to any of us. So I like, can say like how we even got um, together and everything else. It's always a backstory. So I think once the audience just kind of dies more into that and the story develops, you'll kind of see why that's the way he is. And he's not just, he's not a, he's really not a bad guy. It's just, that's, that's how life treated him. So, you know, he had to do what he had to do. Compensate. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, kill to be killed, really much, you know what that, I'm saying? Yeah, so, that part. Uh, it's uh, in order to control the environment that he's in so that he feels stability, even though it's, it may not really be much to call sense of it. You know, you gotta kind of control the narrative. For sure, for sure. And then is there anything else you want to say just uh, in general to the cast, the crew, Zarek, the writer, uh, Bunkley, the producer, Faith, the director? <laughs> Who's that? Then, and, <laughs> I've never heard of who Who's she that? works I don't know. I've never seen her. I've never seen her. Who is she? <laughs> no, um, thank you to everybody. Uh, Faith, Jason, Zarek. Old cast, all, 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 all of them, all of them, I'm not gonna name all of them names. <laughs> they know who they are. Um, it was a pleasure working with you guys. Honestly, I already knew from the jump that this was something that was just like a one stop shop. So um, I'm looking forward to, to, to really pulling this story out. So thank you guys. Cool, thank you for sitting with me. Oh, that was awesome.